What is up guys? Welcome to today's vlog. So today is actually a same day vlog uh, because we have not a lot going on. Honestly, we're waiting for baby Hannah to get here and there she is. <laughs> da, da, da. Busted cleaning. Like always. Where is Hannah, babe? What's wrong? She like why are you holding coming. up the baby from getting here? <laughs> it's not up to me. <laughs> she wants to come tomorrow for my birthday. That would be pretty crazy, right? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> you never know. I know, I never do know. <laughs> you know she's never you coming. No. I feel like she's never coming. Ever. Almost there, babe. <sighs> So yesterday, we went and got our first grocery haul of all vegan stuff. So now our house is stocked with a bunch of healthy fruits, vegetables. We got a couple like snacky foods, uh, but I'll show you a couple clips from when we went to the grocery store now. <laughs> So yeah, so that was awesome. The kids had a lot of fun picking out all of the fresh fruit and vegetables, right, babe? Yeah. That was cool. They already ate like half of the stuff that we got for it. <laughs> <laughs> this is already day four? Is this day four? Yeah. Yeah, it's day four for us eating no meat and no dairy. And I really honestly can't even tell a difference. Like, I feel good. What I mean by I can't, like, I, I don't miss anything. Yeah, I don't miss anything. Like I it doesn't see it doesn't seem any different. I could tell a difference from an energy level, yeah. but like I don't notice that we're missing any food or <laughs> like the only thing was our habit of eggs. So we made eggs a lot in the morning, and I think just getting used to. Especially when I when I'm pregnant, like usually when I'm not pregnant, like I don't really care about breakfast, which I know sounds horrible, but when I'm pregnant, I'm like I need eggs and need protein for breakfast. So we kind of switch to like oatmeal and protein smoothies or yeah. Fruit. <laughs> Tons so, of fruit. So today has been a pretty low key day. Um, I've been working from home this week, so it's been really quiet, I guess. Like, not a lot going on other than this anticipation. We're just waiting and we don't know what to do. All right, guys, so let's all, do you guys want to say a special message? A special? You want to say a special message to Hannah before she gets here? Um, before she gets here. What do you want to say about, say to Hannah? If you were to be in the future right now and you could tell her something, what would you tell her? And I love her. You love Hannah? Like this much. Whoa! That is so much. I'm gonna do the only pee pee diaper, not poo poo. You're gonna change her pee pee diapers, not poo poo? <laughs> what do you wanna say to Hannah before she gets here? Oh yeah, Anna, I would say I love her past infinity. Past infinity? Beyond? And beyond? What else? Mm. I love you. Aww. What kind of wisdom do you want to share? What? what kind of wisdom do you want to share? What is that? That's like things you've learned already in life. What is something you learned in life that you think is important for everyone to know? Hmm. That if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything at all. Oh, give me a high five, girl. That was nice. If you want to have um, like friends, you probably should treat them nicely. Like, if you treat them nicely, then they'll treat you nicely. Yeah, that's right. I mean, when you treat people with respect, and you treat people nicely... Then they'll treat you. Most of the time. Not always, though. Not always. But you can't expect anything in return, right? Yeah. You're just doing it because of the kindness of your heart. Yeah. That's the goal. Yeah. Right? But there's gonna be days where we're all gonna be frustrated. And okay. we gotta work through it, right? Yeah. Together, like a family. Yeah. So that was so cool just hearing a little bit of a future message for Hannah. You know, if I were to say something to Hannah right now, it'd be that she's coming into a house full of love and compassion and just a truly caring environment. So we're really excited. We're really amped up for you, Hannah. Hurry up and get here. We're waiting patiently so we can go on some hikes and some adventures and get you out of mommy's belly because right now mommy's feet are swelling up. So Harper, what do you want to say to Hannah? If you can say anything to future Hannah, what do you want to say? 
Bubbles. <laughs> Come here, Bubbles. She does not like that nickname. I don't know why, but she doesn't seem to like it. What do you want to say to Hannah? You want to say anything to Hannah? You want to say hi to Hannah? Say hi to future Hannah. Harper said Hannah's coming tomorrow for her <gasps> birthday. Did you say Hannah's coming tomorrow? Yeah? What do you want to say to Hannah? Anything? You just want to smile? Put that in your mouth. That's your mouth. Yeah. So we we're just talking about getting into our workout routine and what we're going to do. We may do one of those like camp gladiators. I heard those are really fun. So leave in the comments below if you guys have ever done a camp gladiator or something like it. It's basically like workout camps. Um, yeah, they do. I, I don't know exactly what they do in, in terms of like what types of workouts, but Summer and I are talking about doing that, right, babe? Yeah. So she's looking through her closet right now and she's like, <laughs> she's at that, I don't know, that nine month like, <laughs> nothing fits, I need clothes. <laughs> wow, thanks. <laughs> that was kind of mean. I didn't really mean it to be that mean, but. <laughs> You'll get some, some clothes. We'll, we'll get you a t shirt and some, uh, some leggings. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, one pair. He's no, so you have to get, what do they call it? A push gift? I don't know. What do they call it? There's like a gift when you have a baby. It's called. <laughs> I guess, but I've never gotten a push gift before. I know, we've never done a push gift. So I think gift. you're... The push gift you is the baby. Like four. Four? Okay. We're so restless right now, we do not know what to do with our time. <laughs> and, yeah. Because you don't want to go too far from home, because if you go into labor, Driving is not fun. Yeah. And then like, if it's like during the day, like our neighbors are gonna watch the girls, you know. Mm-hmm. And Harper's labor was really fast. Really fast. So, just in limbo right now, I don't know what to do. We're bored. <laughs> we need to go walk the baby out. That's what we need to do. We are one week away from the actual due date, so it's literally any day. Like any day, any second, like, yeah. so it's hard to like plan anything. <laughs> so the vlogs have been kind of weird, guys, so thank you for hanging in there with us. Um, we're, it's like, we're just at this stage right now where we're in limbo. Like we feel like everything is going so slow it's almost like we're uh, like the pause buttons on yeah. and like you know when you watch a movie and you pause it and you skip forward like really slow I feel like it's I feel like we're just moving really slow and yeah I don't know and we're bored but like like I said we don't want to like do too much maybe we'll go shopping this weekend <laughs> walk the baby out it's probably my least favorite thing to do but you deserve it all right Peyton you ready for some gymnastics Let's go, girl. All right, so we just got home from gymnastics and I cooked a quick dinner. Keith actually had to run to his eye doctor appointment. They ordered him some new contacts, so they needed to test them out. But I made a different type of dinner tonight. So what do you girls think? Is that good? What do you think, Peyton? <laughs> it has lemon and it has so sour. Sour? So tiny sour. Shouldn't it be too sour? There's not too much lemon juice. Alright, so I made some pasta with broccoli and spinach. And I used these tricolor rotini non-GMO veggie style noodles. I don't know, it's the first time trying them, but it says that they're enriched with carrot, tomato, spinach, and it has like one serving of vegetables per four ounces of noodles, which I thought was pretty cool because it's like extra vegetables. Plus, I put broccoli and spinach, and then you put some, put some garlic, fresh lemon juice, salt, pepper, and some seasonings. And it, I think it tastes really good. I don't know, the girls are gonna have to get used to eating like more veggies and all that, but they definitely are trying it, so that's good. And I don't know, let's see what Harper thinks because she wasn't at the table. What do you think? 
<laughs> Is it good? Oh goodness. It's not even really that sour, but the girls are just, I, they just gotta get their taste buds adjusted. So hopefully they'll eat some dinner. If not, I don't know, they'll probably just munch on some fruit later, but definitely trying to get them opening up their minds and try, you know, just some more veggies. And I don't know, it was a quick and easy dinner. So definitely on gymnastics night and when Peyton starts school again, we're gonna have to be making a little bit of quicker meals. But yeah, that's definitely, I think it's good. Hopefully Keith likes it. He should be home soon. Yeah. So since the girls weren't huge fans of dinner, but they did eat almost all of it, except for Harper, I offered them a carrot and a little bit of orange juice and they took it. I couldn't believe it. So for dessert, they're having carrot and a little always, bit of orange juice. I would always take a carrot. Yeah? <laughs> you ate good. You ate a lot of dinner. Yeah. I don't know. So I peeled the carrot and cut off the ends and they're just munching on it like little bunny rabbits, huh? <laughs> they're like only like four more pieces, like four more noodles left on my plate. I know, you did good. High five. Thank you. You did good too. And you did good by eating a carrot. Good job. <laughs> Harper has been a little bit stuffy and sick so I'm trying to like pump her with like as many vitamins as I can so the orange juice has a ton of vitamins and then I actually got these new vitamins which are food based multivitamins no artificial colors or and it also has um, probiotics and it's gluten and soy free and it's this rainbow light brand and you can get them on Amazon, or I actually found these at um, Publix. So I thought that was pretty cool, and it has like vegetable juice complex, organic spirulina, I don't know, they're really, really good. So they've been taking this multivitamin, because I know a lot of you are like, oh, when you go to a plant-based diet, you have to supplement, but <clears throat> the American Standard Diet actually more people are more vitamin deficient, which we're learning more and more. But anyways, you can get a lot of fruit, and, like vitamins from fruit and veggies that you eat, which is really cool. And they have been eating so many more vegetables. I am so proud of them. And yeah, what do you think about our new vegan diet? I love it. Yeah, yeah it's you love pretty it. Fun. Yeah. Yeah. I love that the kids are on board with it too. And Peyton has been like really good with like. Um, they were asking about Chick-fil-A and he said the french fries are vegan and they thought that was so cool even though they can't have the chicken. Um, but how um, french fries are vegan is because they're made out of potatoes. That's right. And we had Chipotle for lunch and we had vegan um, options. We had the black beans and rice and chips and the girls didn't miss any of the meat or anything. Keith and I didn't miss any of the meat so it was Really cool, huh? Yeah, in the um, soup that you made like a couple days ago. Yeah, you love the vegetable soup. They love my vegetable soup, especially Peyton. So this vlog is coming to an end. And before I end the vlog, I wanted to share a groovy comment of the day. And today's groovy comment of the day is from yesterday's uh, vegan pizza vlog that we put up. And it's from Emily Allen. It says, you forgot the pineapple. Emily, spot on. I can't believe that I forgot about putting pineapple on this pizza. I think that would have been really awesome. I know Summer doesn't normally like pineapple on pizza, but maybe now that we're having like these I don't know. veggie pizzas might be good. You know no, someone said that we also should try barbecue Sarah instead of tomato sauce, and that would be good, I think. That's a good idea, actually. Like barbecue with some veggies or whatever on it. Yeah, like some kind of veggies that go good with mm. barbecue. Yeah, and then Chelsea Power. Um, looks good. You can make black bean burgers, which are very easy to make at home. Also quinoa quesadillas. Uh, so my mom actually, she's coming to visit us to come hang out with us when the baby gets here next week. Hopefully the baby will be here. Yeah, okay. I know. And, uh, and she was talking about making black bean burgers maybe. So that might be a good, good next step for us to try. But yeah. this, the rest of the week until we have the baby, we're probably going to try to just focus more on the vegetables and fruit and yeah, yeah just have a healthy week. Hopefully, We're going to get a big box of bananas. bananas tomorrow from Trader Joe's. Hopefully you know that'll make Hannah It is only $19 for a box of like 100 bananas. 
Yeah. So whoever says vegan is expensive, it's not. <laughs> it actually, I was surprised too. A whole box of bananas at Trader Joe's 100. was like $20 after tax or whatever. So yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. But thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. I'm actually going to end the vlog now so I can upload it because this is a same day vlog. But we love you guys. Thank you for being here on this journey with us. And I'm going to try to post more same day vlogs up until we have Hannah. And we'll do our best. But we'll see you in our next vlog. See, see ya. ya.